Welcome back heroes to some more node heart last episode we began the game off We woke up in this brand new world where we have to basically recruit some people to a kernel dump and make the uh, The whole town alive right now. It's as the name suggests a bit of a dump <laughs> We've got a few quests to do. We also caught a bunch of uh, new monsters. Can we pick this up? That looks Oh, we can got a battery Okay, a low voltage energy storage artifice some species of Tama may like oh that could be good for zappy That is a uh, Tama. I really really want Anyway, here's our party in case you missed last episode. We got our Kabao, our starter. We got a Sapley. We got a Molon, which I just is so adorable. Them goggles, man. And then we also on the bench have a uh, Kalfu. Not sure how you pronounce some of this stuff. But again, this is super adorable. Uh, we need to catch an electric type timer for a quest. Right now, we need to try and make some dynamite. So we're going to the beach. We got a shovel. Uh, how do we even use the shovel? Is it in gadgets? No, we, ha we have a shovel. We need to um, get some pyrite. We can get pyrite around here. But let's look around so we can find. I'm gonna quickly fight some of these, see how tough they are again. Level eight. Ooh, you're actually pretty tough, because we're level eight. Oh, that's not too bad. Almost take you out in one go. And you do a little bit of damage, that's fine. All right, we'll go bash. Oh, there we go, victory. And we grow a level. Nice. Let's go, Molon. Right, so they're going to evolve at level 10 as well. So we're getting kind of close. Right. Where do we... What oh, was a cooking pot. Looks like it was uh, used during the day. Okay, so if I guess we'll want to come back here um, later on. And I'm assuming... I'm pretty sure it happened in the Digimon games. But different times of day, people might be, you know, in locations. So if we come back at daytime, there might be someone we can recruit. Oh, you level 1 HP. Well, we can just finish you off because we've got enough uh, enough points left. Hey, Sapley, level 8. Let's go. And some more points. I've got some potential points I've got to spend very soon. Oh, uh, hi. Oh. Wait, how do I talk to you? Can't. There you go. Go around. Hello. Enjoying the beach? It's a bit too mechanical for my taste. <laughs> oh, I'm Kai. Uh, what's, your, uh, what's your nick? My nick? Hello, Seek. Uh, what brings you here? Wait, don't tell me. Have my meals become famous? Uh, ah, sorry. Got a bit ahead of myself. <laughs> so you want me to uh, come with you to Colonel Dump? Oh, I've been there. I wanted to cook for the residents there, but I quickly found out they're all me mechanics. Or well, mechanicas. Uh, they only feed on electricity. Oh, there are sentient residents there now? I'll come there as soon as I prepare today's dinner then. Say, my material generator is running low on power. So I was thinking of gathering ingredients myself. But now that you're here, I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you help me with the ingredients? Absolutely. You will? Thank you so much. I'll share my recipe with you. It's kind of a secret, so don't tell anyone. Uh, free hash salt, seaweed, and carapace. Okay. You can get most of those here on the beach, I think. If you get what you need to get, come talk to me again. And thanks for helping me out. Not a problem. There's a lot of things we need to get on this beach. This looks really cool. We also need to get something with some cheese in it for a uh, another side quest. There's a lot to do. Right, so can I just like, wait, what's this? Let's fight you so you get out of the way. Crabble. Ouch. Oh, we're getting, oh, okay, okay, chill, 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 chill. You're doing so much damage. All right, uh, go for another bash and then go for a metal claws and I finish you off. Oh, you got one HP left. Oh, recoil, we won. <laughs> yeah, you take that recoil damage. Right, so what does this do? It's a dive terminal spot. You can enter the subnet here. We need a proper adapter, which we don't have. Okay. So this is where we, like, kind of landed. Well, um, not landed. Uh, it's got stranded here, but it's a metallic capsule. A small person could fit inside this slot. That's what we came in. Let's start the game before we got rescued. All right, I need to be a bit careful because I'm going to very weak. Going to bash, bash, metal claws. Nice! Critical! Oh, it's two of you this time? Ah, oh, that's not good. It's fine. I'm gonna switch, I think. Before I die, if I can. Uh, switch. I think, let's go Sapley. That costs zero as well, which is good. And let's go for a... Let's go for a bash first. Uh, let's go for a seed sap. Uh, not bad, not bad. 
Oh, you are doing a lot. Right, let's go. That's brutal. I've been putting up magic on this, and it seems like a lot of moves are uh, brutal. Okay, uh, that's good to know. Let's go wood pellet. <laughs> I thought I might do a little bit more. All right, Molen. Come on, live the attacks. I definitely need to get healed up in a second. Uh, let's go claw. Don't die, don't die. Oof. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Now we can just finish you off with the the bash. Okay, that was tough. And if we get taken out, we uh, don't get experience. Let's get this. Recovery disc. Need to go get healed up. Absolutely. Also need to find out how to use the shovel. Which we'll do once we get out of here real quick. Do not want to fight anyone. Alright, back to Colonel Dump. But at least we know of a few residents we can get. So it looks like there's 40 residents in total. Currently we have one. <laughs> but that being said, the cook would be two. The uh, two people in the mine would be four. Well, I assume it's going to count as two, right? Because one of them's not going to come without the other. All right, so now we're fully healed. Uh, just checking. Yeah, good. We haven't got the perma death on, so <laughs> they don't die for good. All right, so now we're back at Circuit Shore. How do we do this? We got... Mm, it's not around here, but we got quests. Help Kai, help Widget. So use your shovel to get them. Oh, it was V, wasn't it? Oh, there you go. R, R B. That's... Ooh, seashell. That's the button. All right, it's different for controller. Nice. Just keep digging till we find what we need. Not sure if there's going to be like a certain spot. But we'll just go randomly until we uh, get everything we need. Nice. Another one. Another seashell. We needed oh, two seashells, right? And for this, for Kai, we need seaweed. Okay. So we can get it all around here, right? So just keep digging until we... Kind of get everything we need or just look around. Oh, there's a chest over there. Got some salt. Nice. Seaweed, eh? Ooh. Yeah, let's go talk to you. How do I get to you? I'll just keep digging. Just keep digging. Till we get everything. Not sure how much else we need. It's definitely enough salt. And I think definitely enough seaweed. Just need the last thing, which I'm not sure if we have. If I go around here. Aha! Wait, what's this? Oh, so salt can just appear like that as well. You don't have to dig for it. Uh, I think I have to go around and fight these to get to you. Yep. But if you're at once, let's go. I am going to go bash. Oh, we don't have to level four. Oh, these ones are easy compared to other ones we were fighting a minute ago. Right, that cost that, and then Claw can finish you off. Fantastic, easy peasy. Woo! So that's actually, oh, they dropped the uh, thing we need, okay. So we've definitely got enough. But let's talk to you. So seaweed and other items tend to wash up on the shore at night. Of course, you can also use a fishing rod to fish some of these uh, items out of the ocean. Would you like me to teach you how to fish? Yeah, sure. So very well. Here I installed a fishing rod to your memory core. You can use it anytime, but you can only use it at a specific spot where there are fishy shadows in the water. To fish, simply face towards the water and talk to it. Then wait for the aim to hover over a yellow spot on the fishing line and use select. The more spots you hit, the higher the real bar will go. Bzz, why don't you give it a try? I'll give it a go. I've never really been good at fishing, but... Uh, oh! I got seaweed! Just gonna wait. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, I see how this works. Ah, nice. Got a pipe fish. Gonna get a few fish because I feel like these will definitely come in handy. Come on up. There you go. I get the fish in now. So we. Oh, oh, this looks actually kind of cool. 
Cloya take you out. Don't want to use our food to try and get... Oh, it wants to join us anyway! Nice, I was going to say, I don't really want to use my food to try and get these Tamas just yet because I want to get Zappy. If you saw last episode, but obviously you guys know, my favorite type element is electric. Obviously, Voltsy, which I had lightning powers, but that thing just hits all my, like, criteria for a, uh, for a, um, for like a, a creature, monster, Tama, whatever I like. So I definitely need to get this bad boy. All right, I think that's enough fishing for now. Let's get this chest. Life chip. Ooh. Wait, can I get to that? I don't think I can. It looks like a little mushroom growing on the wire. I don't think I can get to it. Of course, you guys spawn up. You want another beat down? I'll give you a beat down. All right, so let's go bash and bash and then bash <laughs> and then claw. Sweet. Also, oh no, I think. Is it the last three or was it two? The, the bottom moves we learn are going to cost more. So we need to rearrange our moves at some point. Let's go and talk to you. I have all the ingredients, I believe. Let's get around. Yo. Oh, hey, Seek. Oh, you got all the ingredients for me. That's amazing. I'll get on it immediately. Ta-da! My infamous salt soup is done. So thanks so much for your help, Seek. Oh, it's perfect. you got to try it too, Seek. Here, this is for you and your Tama. Oh, don't worry. This is a base nutrient, so every Tama will like it. Its weight will go up a little bit too. Sweet, and as thanks for helping me, I want you to have this too. An attack core. Found it buried in the sand uh, one day, and I think it's an upgrade that you can install to a Tama to make it stronger. Sort of like an equip item, but I'm not sure. I think you'll be able to make good use of it. And before I get going to a Colonel Dump as promised, let's trade our card, Seek. Sweet, that's two residents. Woo! Great, see you in town then. So like an equip item, he said, right? So let's go to party... Few stats. Uh, so evolution, just need to get level 10, so that's fine. Potential, we got quite a bit. Gonna go one strength. Ooh. Oh, no, it costs five. Okay. One speed. And I guess that's it. How do I equip this thing? So is it in memory? Increases total attack power by 5% install. Oh, I, I see. Ah, I see, I see, I see. It's like this. Oh, that's install though. This is use. And then we got this level by one. I'm going to save that for me. Get to probably level nine. Right, so I think we've got everything we need here. So what would... Actually, let me go back to... Where does this lead us? Oh, back to the forest from this way. Oh, ooh, what's that? Ribbon. Well, this is the first forest we went. No, this is a different forest. Oh, okay. I, all right, I see. I haven't explored this place yet, though. I'm going to come back here later on. I don't want to explore the place just yet. So it's kind of a long way back, but... Grab some stuff on the way, which is always good. Because I want to try and get a certain Tama very soon. I know they like the mushrooms. Is that another one there I can pick up? Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I know they like the mushrooms, which does 20%. So if I have to just feed it five mushrooms to get 100, absolutely, I'll do that. Right, so I'm checking first. Uh, ooh. Can I buy any food or make any food that has cheese in it? So he was quite happy when he saw me. And the more the merrier, he said. And I agree. Oh, speaking of which, Mr. Shishi said there's something he wanted to talk to you about. Oh, well, I'll be here from now on. Hope to make uh, many delicious meals for everyone here. Right. Cheeseburger. That'll do. So that'll be for the, the quest because obviously cheese. And mice love cheese. And I love cheese too. Honestly, as well. Dogs love cheese, trust me. Every dog I've had, especially my dog right now, love cheese. Like, probably more than anything, really. <laughs> but yo, uh, Seek, you were right just when I needed you. So I was analyzing the hatching data through a stack trace and I found something. There's a data leading back to a place not too far away from here, Memory Lake. 
I believe there's someone or something there, but their presence is making the pattern unstable. Perhaps it's a Tama or a Sentient that only appears at certain times of day. Who knows? I suggest you go investigate, Seek. I'll continue working on the data here. Okay, we'll do that in a little bit. See, this is like why I love the Digimon games and like, you know, obviously this game is inspired by it. It's just, it just feels like there's so much to do. Oh, uh, that's his bunny forest. We're going to do that one. We want to go back down here and take the one to the mine. Because it always feels like there's something to do. You know? And if there's nothing to do, you've got like grinding and stuff. So it's just like, there's always something. Even if there's nothing to do, there is always something to do. But let's go talk to you. I have... No, I haven't got anything I need actually. Because I need to go and get um, two pyrite. Which you can find in the caves here. Right. Okay. So, I'm guessing the pyrite, we probably want to dig around here? Can we just dig anywhere? Oh, we can. Hey, rock. Come out. Oh, yep. Gotcha. I want this so bad. Love Zappy. All right. So, I think surely you're like this. Hey, 40%. Loves it. And then I'm going to give you a mushroom as well, because I know you liked this. 60%. I don't want to risk not getting you, so I'm going to gift you this. That's 80%. I think 80% is fine. If I don't get you at 80%, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. Wait, we got it. Nice. Yes. Absolutely. Join the party. So can I change things from here? Yes, I can. Sorry, Sapley. I do like your Sapley, but Zappy. And I, I've got to keep Molon. I love Molon. <laughs> it's just so cute. So cute. Okay. So let's just take you out. And we'll go do this side quest real quick. Go train Zappy up a little bit. Uh, you, you wanted the cheeseburger, right? Hey, is that a, a delicious, tasty cheese imbued bread you have there? Thank you so much. I think I should give you something in return. Ah, how about this? Ooh, HP chip. Enjoy the, this cheesy goodness. Absolutely. All right. Uh, rock. Dive terminal. Just more rocks. I'm not sure there's got to be a certain spot we need to go to. Pyrite. Okay. Sweet. So I'm just going to keep digging around here until we find more pyrite like that. So now we've got everything we need for the... Ooh, iron. I feel like every area I, I go to, I should probably just keep digging in case I can find some certain things. Like, I'm just going to get some of this, because we might need this later on. It's always good to have lots and lots of loot. And I'm going to save the game just in case. It's been a while. Alright, so now we can go make the dynamite. Okay, so this is the person we're going to get very soon. I'm going to fight you as well. I want to try and just get a little bit of experience. Hey, level 9! So should we do it now to get the level, um, we get the evolution? Because I don't think there's anything else to it. Like, we don't need any more stats. Evolution, okay. Yeah, so there's the upgrades, that's how it works. Okay, cool. Can you unequip them? You can. I see. Alright, we've got potential. I want to do attack. Let's do two. There you go. And then, if we go to memory, we use this onto you. Oh, wait, what? Did I read it wrong? I thought that was like a, like a rare candy. It's a level. Oh, that's max HP. I might as well use that as well. I'm making my starter super strong. Because I don't see myself getting rid of it. My bad. I, th I thought that I read that as like a... Uh, Level up. That's all good. Let's go this way to the pits. And widgets are bold. Hey, yo. Hey, you brought all the ingredients I need. Cool. Let's feed the crafter executable, inject the other ingredients, and... There. It's being printed. <laughs> Printing some dynamite. There you go. Wait. Actually, I think I'll take this to foster myself. It is an explosive, after all. You can come with me to the tunnel. Sounds good. I can't be trusted with dynamite. So Widget told me you helped her with the ingredients. What was your name again? Seek, you have my thanks. 
Alright, it's installed. Let's stand back. Wow, that really did it. The breakthrough on the other side. That is the greatest reward a tunneler can get. Shall we reach for our reward then? Ooh, okay. What do we got? Protocol Forest. Ooh, got a chest. Got a warp ribbon. So another forest, huh? This is uh, There is a decrepit looking mechanica over there though. Don't think I'll be able to get it up and running again with the amount of deterioration, however. That's okay. Then we can just like get- Oh, there's a glitch over there. So protocol forest, this path probably ends at Mount Nexus. There's nothing there for us. Drilling and making tunnels there is impossible. Oh, we tried that once, didn't we? Yes, and we found out that the whole mountain was made of impenetrable rock. Uh-oh. Golem. The golem. Why did it activate? Seek, watch out! Oh, here we go. Like our first boss battle, I guess. Ooh, oh, whoa! Okay, you did a lot of damage. Let's heal up. Uh... So the, the best we got is 20? It was 100. Unless it was 20 as well. I'm going to go... That, and I'm going to use another one. Wish Zappy was fully healed. <laughs> okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, what do we got? I guess we've got a bash. Bash. Let's go for a metal claws. Oh, not bad, not bad. It's not doing too much damage. It was a little scary at first. I guess because of the ambush, but... I'm gonna go... Metal Claws again. Right, now we've got to go in, because we are... There we go. So we've got a Ground Pound. We've got one left. Oh, that takes it out! Nice! Ooh, that was a little scary. But, uh, oh! Wait, do benched Tama also gain experience? Because they're learning stuff. Maybe they do. But so, use uh, Tama to fight. Interesting. Did a good job at defending us. That Mechanica. Now that I saw it in action, I think I know what it is. It looks like an old Rain City bot. The kind they don't use anymore. Weird to see uh, one all the way out here, and in such a uh, sorry state. Not to mention it attacked us out of the blue. Its program must have been deteriorated. Something is happening across the whole layer. Without elevated access, it won't be possible to determine exactly what. The mechanic would be best suited for this job. Oh. Seek, where did you say you were from? I know the, just the mechanic. Colonel Dump. Are there new paths to be made there? Yeah, sure. Alright, I'll head there then. What about the tunnel? Our tunnel? It's a good place for the mice, but there are no uh, challenges left there. You haven't invented anything new in a while either, haven't you, Widget? I guess, if you don't count all the dynamite and smart pickaxes. As engineers, we constantly need to seek new frontiers. I'll go talk to Connor about taking over. Mechanica, you should come with us too. Wait, okay, um... Oh. So Seek, huh? Newbie? So you two are leaving the tunnel to go with them? A complete stranger. So we've reached the end of our evolution here. Connor and besides, we're not going far away. Still, what happens to this place now? You'll lead it. You've proved to everyone here that you can lead them forward. It's time to take the baton. Well, Colonel Dump is really close to the tunnel. If you start missing us, just take a walk. H huh? Why would I miss you? Jeez, I'm not a pup anymore. Wait, Widget, you're leaving too? Affirmative. I can't believe it. If Foster is going, then there's no reason for me to stay here either. Who knows what strange new tools I'll be able to invent there in Colonel Dump. Darn it, I need to keep this a secret from other mice. Unless I want a riot to happen. Well, at least Tommy is staying. Seek, please take uh, mine and Widget's cards as thanks for helping us as well. So that counts as two cards, yeah? That's fine by me. Yeah, cool. That'll be four. Then we go speak to the uh, other mice or mouse and then get a, another card. That'll be five. We should, we should get going now. Okay, let me just pack my equipment. Oh. Okay. So, let me double check something. Yeah, four. Let's go. We're going to go make this five. So, what do we want to do next? Uh, I'm trying to think. We've got, we've got plenty of quests to do. Oh, now I've got the, uh, the electric tarmar. I should go and um, do that other quest we can finish off. Hey there, huh? 
Foster and Widget left the t Oh, whoops. They told you not to tell anyone? So why are you telling me then? Oh, you want me to come to Colonel Dump too? Well, if Widget went there, I'm going too. Sounds like it could be very fun. And besides, I've always wanted to run on outdoor daycare for Tama. Oh, since we're all friends now? Here, let's exchange our cards. Let's go, we got five. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'll see you in Colonel Dump then. Okay. What to do next? What to do next? Uh, I want to go back over here. Protocol Forest. Let's do a little bit of digging on the way in case we can find some stuff. Probably should save the game. Now we beat that big boss. Ruin Stone. Okay. Got a stick. What's this? Dive terminal. Uh, okay. Need the proper adapter, which we don't have yet. So we can't go this way because the glitch. But I'm guessing that's just stopping us from going too far forward in the game. So we'll probably get absolutely smashed if we go that way. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hey yo. Oh, I just realized I'm super weak still. It's fine. It's fine. I think I can take you out. We'll go bash, bash, ground pound. It's level seven as well. Nice. Sappy level six. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we need to get healed up. Oh, uh, yeah, this way. Let me look at the quests. So explore the island and recruit 10 sentience. That's what we're going to do next. We'll do this and uh, stack trace data leaks back to the lake. Something's appearing there at certain times of day. So where is the lake? We haven't been there. But I'm gonna actually if I probably the fastest way to get back would be if I go and take the teleporter back to the beach and go up. Then we can get healed up and go and explore. I think if we go if yeah, if we come back down, we'll, we'll go here, go back down, and then we'll go to that little foresty bit I haven't explored yet. And so we can find around there. And see where. Oh, the bridge is built now. Sweet. All right. Let's get healed up. And we'll go across and see what they do. So the bank terminal is linked. Uh, ups Thomas max level by one. Oh, is this like... I can only reach a certain level? I think in Digimon games, wasn't it like... Unless you reboot, you can only hit a certain level. So you'd like you'd get level like for example 15, then you'd reboot, and the next time you can get level 20, and then reboot. I think it was like that, right? That's what it must mean. So we could. It wasn't like a. I was right in the sense we can gain a level, but it's not like an instant level. Like we can get level nine to ten. We could then go to level eleven if like ten was the max, for example. I see. I see. I see. I see. Uh, hey, we're here. It's actually kind of nice on the outside. All right, I haven't asked your name. Seek, it's nice to meet you. You're a mechanica, right? So you're not sure? Don't have any memories prior to coming here? Huh, maybe Widget can help you with that. She knows a lot about mechanica and computers and gadgets in general. Oh, and I won't be running an item bank anymore. Widget has installed a bank terminal over there by the stream, so you can use that anytime to store your items. So I'll work here as a Tama Keeper. I can take care of your Tama while you're away. Also, if your party is full and you capture a Tama, it will be automatically uh, transferred to me. So come talk to me when you want to leave or withdraw Tama, okay? Uh, okay. I'm gonna... Deposit. I might just keep these... Actually, I'll deposit you. I want to keep you for the time being. Yeah, sure. So great, I have a feeling it would fit you. So you're not sure how it works? Hmm, me neither. Has something to do with tamar and eggs, but I don't know how, don't know much more than that. Maybe you could ask Mr. Shishi. He seems knowledgeable about these things. Okie dokie. Right, so we need 20 cards to go that way. Ooh. So what do we got in here? Colonel Cave. This looks interesting. Oh, there's a chest here. Phoenix Drive. Revives time and heals 250 HP. Oh, we gotta hold on to that for like later on. 
that would be good for like a really big boss battle. So this way leads to the beach. Uh, I once wandered in there and got zapped by those menacing crabbles. Can do a little bit of fishing though. Everyone loves a little bit of fishing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Alright, where is uh Widget? So that goes to the beach. Don't want to go that way just yet. Just checking. So we can do the breeding, but I don't know how to breed just yet. Alright, let's get around. I can't wait for this like place is all fixed up. It's gonna look gonna look insane. Alright, let's talk to you. Oh, Seek, I heard you brought the tunnel folks to town. This is great news. They immediately helped with fixing the bridges connecting this side of Colonel Dump with its B-side. Ah, okay. What's the matter? A gadget? Egg machine? Ah, you must be talking about Tama breeding. I'll tell you what I know about it. Tama are not able to multiply in the same way as other organisms. Their total number seems to be constant, predetermined by the system. When Tama breed, they actually pass on their egg data to one another. This data is what determines the species of the offspring. There are also a couple of requirements necessary for two Tama to exchange the egg data. First level must be at least 10. Second, their monster classes must be compatible. Unfortunately, I don't know much more about what determines this compatibility. I hope this info will help you nonetheless. Okay, so that's something that we can't really do just yet then, because we have one Tama that's almost level 10. Okay. So if I go in here, is Widget in here? Oh, wow. Hey, this place is pretty neat. I'm curious about the inventor who lived here before us. I accessed the main network, but I'll take some time uh, before I can decrypt all the archives. I can install a few basic gadgets into your memory until then. Ooh, alright. Turn you back to me, please. Dash function. Okay. Ooh. Unlocked world map. Sweet. And one more. Tomadex. There we go. You should be able to dash now using the space bar. Tomadex can tell you info on all Tama that you have seen or tamed. And world map isn't really a world map, it's just a map of this island. Well, that's all for now. Right, okay, so come visit later. So we have the world map. Oh, this place is big. Okay, so that's the rainlands. I can't show you this until um, we, uh, till the game actually officially launches. But I think, obviously, as it launches, at the time of recording, this launches, this game launches officially tomorrow. If you're watching this, like, when it gets released. But I don't think we'll get here anytime soon. But we got the Circuit Shore. We got Memory Lake. So there's the lakes on the west side. So if we go explore this part here, which we haven't explored, then we'll go to the lake. There's the tunnel. There's Protocol Forest. That's what we got to. And then we got Colonel Dump. We might be able to go up here, I think. Still Circuit Shore. Okay. Uh, we've got the recorder. Alright, let's talk to you again. So we're still decrypting the inventor's, uh, sorry, inventor's archives. I have a feeling it will take some time. Are you using the gadgets I installed? You can access them via your gadgets menu. What button is dash though? Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what button is dash on the controller. So we found this abandoned house with lots of mechanical equipment left behind. The inventor must have lived here some time ago. Now we'll continue their legacy. Hey, okay. Ooh, we got a plane. Giant toy plane. You're not sure if it's functional. Oh, we're so gonna be using that plane at some point. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a chest right there. Memory, oh. Uh. Is anything I can quickly use? Um, I feel like I should just box some stuff. I'm just going to use that for now just to get a VRAM chip. Because it's magic by one. Okay, so let me go to the storage and we'll put that in. I need to find out how to, to dash. I'm assuming I probably can't dash out oh, in places got to be out in the open. Uh, let's, uh, so it can be used to imbue certain weapons with magic via crafting. I think I'm just gonna, I'll keep the warp ribbons, definitely. I'm definitely not gonna use this, I'll save that for later. 
I wonder if there's a way to uh, increase your inventory space. Maybe it's A? I'm definitely... Oh yeah, look, I think that's it, because it's not long. So A is dash. Found it. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're definitely not coming here anytime soon. So let's make our way to the west. And we go to that quest with the uh, catching the electric tama, which we've done. Oh! Hey, oh! Hello, my name is Shiny. I'm a traveling tama, uh, tama tamer. Came to this island because of many interesting tama rumors circulating on the net. And to explore this part of the system. Oh, you have tama? So you're a tamer, just like me. Say, are you up for a friendly match, a tama battle? Absolutely. Sweet, this will be a perfect test of my new tama. All right, bring it on, Shiny. Ow. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna go bash. 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 And then I'm gonna go ground pound. Might take you out. Oh, you live at 1 HP. Oh, it's all good, though. Let's go claw. And we still got more turns left, so we'll go metal claw. Woohoohoo! Let's go! Oh, we got this in the bag. That was level 9. Easy. Enemy turn. Doesn't do too much. Yeah, when Zappy gains a few levels, I'm going to start leaning off of Zappy for a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I need to probably... I don't need to switch early. I've got 1 HP. No matter what I go for, I think this thing's going to die. Oh! Oh, recall damage. Take yourself out. <laughs> oh, all good, all good. Oh, some magic. So we want to use magic on uh, Zappy. And charge back. Should get that thing out of the box and then by the bank and put it onto Zappy to increase the magic. But not bad. you got some moves. What's your name? Seek? Got it. My next destination is Rainlands. I heard there's an old mansion there, surrounded by ghosts and spooks. Uh, sounds like it's worth checking out. Hope I'll see you there. But we can't go to the Rainlands without the encryption key, because the Rainlands is up here. But also, like I said, I can't show you it till tomorrow. But, uh, ooh, wait, that looks very suspicious. I've not noticed this before. Like a cool spiral. It's a TV pole. <laughs> okay. Right, so it was this dude for the quest, I believe. Yeah, that's an electric tummer. Right there, in your party. We're going to take on my next challenge, the final part. Absolutely. Alright, here's T-Rain's final lesson. You'll fight against a water tummer and observe how strong your electric attacks are against it. Oh, that's so cute. But let's go into... Oh, zappy. And we'll go for Zap. <laughs> nice. Whoa, you did it! All of my challenges, utterly crushed. Here's your reward. Ooh, got a life chip. You're ready to go out into the world on your own now? Thanks. I'm actually going to just uh, move you up here. I'm going to use you for a little bit. So visit the mansion gates and Rainlands and talk to Shiny. So we can't do that just yet. Uh, so that's what we're going to be heading to go and do. So let's go down south. And explore this place so we can maybe recruit some new people. That's back to Colonel Dumps. We've got the shortcut. Which we can do if we need to. That's to watch TV to progress an hour. I can teach you some things about learning texts and battles. Will you accept teachings? Yeah, sure. Aside from level up texts, your Tama can learn texts from the Tama at battles as well. The higher its wisdom stat, the higher the chance of learning foes texts. Learning texts with higher power and TP will be more difficult, but your chance of learning a tech also increases if the tech gets used multiple times in a single battle. Of course, you can't learn all of the text this way. Uh, element learning restrictions apply normally, and for information on that, uh, consult the elements uh, table. It's accessible from the battle info menu as well. There's one more thing you should know. Whether you'll go first in battle against Wild Tummer depends on your front Tummer's speed and wisdom stats. I have no exact algorithm, but just know that the higher those two stats are combined, the higher your chance of going first is. Right, okay. Oh, you want to fight? Let's go. Uh, oh, this is not effective at all. I should probably switch because I feel like you're going to do some serious damage to me otherwise. Oh, you did one. <laughs> uh, we'll go zap. I mean, it's not very effective, but it still does the damage, to be fair. Alright, let's go 
charge back and then dirt row. Uh, it's probably better just switch. And then we'll just go bash. Nice. That piece almost uh, grown a level. Can I do some stats on it? Oh, has it got no evolution? Oh no. I mean, it looks cool as it is, but it's got no evolution. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do speed and I'm gonna do wisdom. Okie dokie. Oh! That's kind of cool. Aha! So you're the honey thief, aren't you? I got you now! What? Don't play dumb with me! No one comes here except for me! And someone has been stealing honey from my hives! So you're saying it wasn't you? Huh! What do you want then? I want some honey. <laughs> you want to help me? And what do you want in return? You want me to come to Colonel Dump? Hmm. Okay, I'll think about it. Now listen here. I haven't been able to identify the thief. But I know honey tends to disappear during the night. Most likely, a culprit is a wild tummer, so you better be prepared for an enemy encounter. I keep a tight schedule, so I always go to sleep early. That means you're on your own here. Come back here during the night and, uh, ambush the honey thief. Yeah, that might work. Do you get all that? Yeah, sure. Okay, now leave me. I have work to do, and thank you. Well, it's almost night time now. Got a larvae. It's gonna claw ya. It's level 2. Something tells me I should have probably come here a while ago. <laughs> That's fine. We're here now. That's the cool thing about games like this. You can just do them in any order you want. Alright, so we'll come back. Uh, oh, you look interesting. Dirt roll. Yeah. Number one. And we will go zap. Oh, it's a toxie. Okay. Uh, oh, bash costs three. We should switch bash round because it usually costs, costs one, right? Oh, no, sorry. No, it costs one still. It's just I was looking at the green bar thinking that's how much it costs, but that's how many times we can use it. About the, uh, the recoil. Okay, so. Oh, the poison. The poison. Oh, I accidentally went for Earth Drill. That's fine. I'll go Claw. Oh, it's not looking too good. I think there's a healing thing close by. But can we go in here? Door's locked. Can't go in there. Oh, got Fiber. So if I... Oh, that's a save point. Get this. So left will take us to the lake, but we don't want to go to the lake just yet. I want to uh, do this quest we've got with the bees. Oh, this takes us down into another part of Circuit Shore, which we'll go explore later on. I think I want to quickly do this. If I go teleport back over here, get healed up. And then we go back, and hopefully it'll be night time by the time we get back. Makes sense why you got the little, like, uh, TV to progress time in that area, because you need to come back at night time. Alright, so we teleport back. To binary forest. So if I watch... Oh, he's gone. Because <laughs> there was a dude there, but... I guess I can probably just go... Uh, to the lake now. I don't know how it, how long it takes for night or like time to progress. Oh, there's someone there. Is this the person we need to speak to? Oh, Benny. So what's the matter? I'm busy right now. Gecko, what's wrong? Whoa. A seg fault. Even here? This can't be. You have to get out of here. Why? Whoa. Wait, that glow. I've seen it before. I remember you and that other boy. Please, you've got to help Gecko. Uh, sure. I don't know what's going on, but it's level five. Okay. Luckily, we can go zap. Wait. Guess charge back. No, it's because it's the ambush, isn't it? So that's a um, a trap we can lay. Oh, just it's like one shot. I thought I one shot it for a second. Oh man. 
All right. Uh, oh, does like barely any damage. We find so we go bash, bash, win. Which Zappy was alive for the experience, but it's all good. Gecko. Oh, we got achievement. Defeat the first Segfault boss. You saved him. Thank you. So when a Tummer uh, Segfaults, it goes on a rampage until it eventually self terminates. You were assembled at a segment base when I was no more than a tadpole. But I'm sure I saw you there, and that glow. It would seem Papa gave you a tool for debugging the seg vaults. Do you remember any of this? Of your time there? I do not. Nothing, huh? There's something I need to show you. Here, let me install a add-on to your visual program. You understand when you see it. There, now look up. Ooh, the counter, can you see it? Oh, I can. Time till compression. Oh, do we have like a hundred days then, I guess? That would make sense for the day counter. This world is being compressed, layer by layer. What you see there is roughly the time needed for full compression of layer one. In other words, this island. Once it's complete, there's no telling what will happen to the Tama and everyone else. If we don't do something, it's possible every data organism will seg fault, just like Gecko did. So I'll come with you to Colonel Dump. I need to explain this to the mechanic too. And since I suppose we're friends now, why don't you take this? Okay, so there is a time limit then for us to uh, finish this game. 100 days, and we're on day two. So we've got, we got time, but fragment unlocked. A fragment of core data has been restored. All of your tummer can now be rebooted. In addition, the maximum number of souls each tummer can have now is one. Not entirely sure on all of that, but I guess like there'll be tutorials that will tell us more about later on. Uh, this is this is fine. Let's go claw. It's level four. Yeah, I feel like we were supposed to come here way before uh, doing the uh, the tunnel. That's fine. Not like we were struggling. And how tough are you? Got a gecko. Uh, zap. And let's go bash. Claw. Doesn't do too much that way, but I feel like I just give another zap. Although I'm taking some damage, so probably not. Hmm. I don't know if I can take. I'm just gonna go. Fifty percent. I'll just go for it. It's fine. Just make sure we take you out. Get that level. Okay. What else can we do around here? Oh, I was trying to avoid you, but it's fine. Mm, I'm, I'll just switch. And then are we super effective? Yeah, metal claws. Nice, that's much better. <laughs> Let's just do that from now on. Okay. Looks really cool. I like how like the, the camera zooms out. And just like moves around like the camera angle is just so good. Oh, it's night time now. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. We need to just zap. Oh, no. That's, sorry. Ambush to charge back. Ouch. Please don't do too much. Oh. And then you kill me. <laughs> uh, it just feels like the trap backfires on us. Just got bash. Oh, you got eight, man. You got so much speed or wisdom. Oh, speed, right? Ow. 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 Chill. It is level 10, I guess. That's strong. Oh, we grew a level nice. Level 10, so we should evolve now, right? Wait. Oh. Here we go. I like the evolution music. Oh, that looks sick. Called Bolf. Bolf? Oh, man, that's so cool. Look at the tail. So click here or press C to reboot. Reboot potential 14. So gain 8 armor whenever your earth tech does damage. Should I reboot it now or should, do I do that later on? So we can... Uh, low strength, high magic. 
low magic. But the book does give off magic vibes, and I've been going for strength, so I guess we go... We'll go for this one, because our strength's already so high. But the, the magic looks so sick. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Right, it's fine, it's fine. Let's go do this quest first before it becomes daytime. Don't want to be wasting too much time. Oh, I should probably save the game as well. Alright, up the way, man. Gotta go stop the, the honey thief. Oh, there's a lot of tum around here. Oh, that's so cute! That was sleepy tanuki. They're easy to beat. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, let's go bash. Bash. Oh, I need Dappy alive. Oh, drop some honey. You want to join us? Yes. I'll take you, absolutely. You're adorable, but you're the honey thief. Grr. So this is a tanuki, right? Metal claw. Easy. Oh, good. So now we come back here during the day. Uh, let's go back. So I'm trying to think what else we can check out. I guess it'll be the, the areas of circuit short. Oh. Ah, Seek. There you are. Benny just told me what happened at the lake. To witness a seg fault here in the overworld. As a mechanic, my job is to debug problems like these inside the net. Never seen anything like this happen in the overworld before. Yes, and eventually, all the world's tummer will go haywire and start attacking sentience. This is happening because Virtuals initiated the execution of the World Compression Program. Unimportant bits of data are discarded in order to save space. But these unimportant bits are necessary for Tama to behave normally. Virtuals? They oversee all of the world's data. Surely they must have known this would happen. The order Papa founded, the one I grew up in, was aiming to stop the compression. We were soon discovered and the whole order was banished to the unallocated vast. My goodness! Did it get, uh, that gets sent uh, there is as good as lost. Oh, I should explain. The unallocated vast is the uh, raw, unformatted space of the systems. It's an endless labyrinth of unstructured junk data. Even the laws of space and time are bent there. Benny, how did you hide from virtuals though? Papa managed to hide me within a protected memory capsule. Although I didn't see it, I assume uh, they did the same with Seek. Then this Papa person is the one who might know more about what you are, Seek. Yes, and they know how to stop the compression as well. Hmm, getting them out of the vast is infeasible, but communicating with them, there might be a way. I can't do it from my terminal here, but if we were to link it with the Nexus terminal, there's a chance it will work. Nexus terminal. It's a good thing I came to you. This, uh, this is something only a mechanic could know. But are you sure you want to help us? It's only a matter of time before they discover what we're doing. And when they do, ah, don't worry about me. To help save the Tama and everyone here, that's a great purpose to have. But you're right. Our conversation here has already been recorded and has no doubt entered their processing queue. So we must move quickly. Seek, I've already installed an encryption key into your program. This key will allow you to unlock the Rainlands barrier in Binary Forest. Cross them and you'll reach Rain City. At the core of Rain City, you'll find the access point to the Nexus terminal. The key I installed will also auto-link with the terminal once you reach it. I'm not very good at fighting, so Seek, I'll leave this to you. Okay, I got it. Seek, if you need any help at all, we'll be here for you. Be careful and good luck. Okay. Right. So we definitely can't go to the Rainlands just yet. Well, this episode anyway. But tomorrow, next episode, we'll definitely go check it out. So I think before we uh, do anything else, what I'll do is I'll teleport. And we will go check out down south. I think there's two parts we can check out. No, this takes us back to the uh, circuit shore we already explored. Oh, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Just gonna, oh, ouch. So we'll go bash, bash. There we go, nice. Um, oh, there's more of you? Ooh, okay, okay. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm just trying to train up zapping, you keep killing me. Right. 
Metal Claws. Oh, Molan, one more level it should evolve. Okay, so I think this takes us back to the circuit shore we explored before. Right? Yeah, yeah, I've been here, I've been here. So, let's go to the left side. Just in case we can find some residents. And let me look at the gadgets. Are we, like, missing... I feel like we're missing this one right here. I'm not sure. Oh, that might be the B person. Considering how, you know, easy it was to kind of find this place. I'm glad I came here because we got this and... Memory is full. Uh... Can do that. HP chip sweet. Can't go down there. We can't swim, can we? We can fish. And we got. Hey, pipe fish. <laughs> All right. So I guess the best thing to do is just wait till it's morning. Oh. Yeah. Wait till morning. And get this next quest done. And then I think the only thing left for us to do is probably go to um, the Rainlands, which obviously we'll do next episode. So let me just, uh, I'm going to get healed up again. I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. And I'll see you guys when it's daytime and we can go ahead and uh, talk to the Honeykeeper. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh! Our cute little Molon's evolving! I didn't go around grinding until the uh, the time changes. And now we get another evolution! Okay, what do we got? Oh, dude, that looks sick! Molini! Oh, dude, happy with that. Alright, so we got another new evolution. It's getting close to the daytime. Uh, it's just, like, it's been really easy to grind. I've just been metal, metal clawing everything. And just, yeah, there you go, Zappy level 10. Just been doing so much grinding. Probably got a lot of money as well from this. Oh, she's there now. It's now daytime. Sweet. Yeah. Just in time. Just in time. Worth it. Okay. Hey, oh. Hey, did you catch the honey thief? Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. You defeated it, but it ran away. It was a wild uh, tanuki. Those freaking things, they found me. Once wild tanukis find uh, BB hives like this, they never stop coming. I tried various methods, a multitude of medieval traps and torture devices. Trust me, nothing worked. The only thing they avoid are places with lots of electricity. Power generators, zappy thingies. I can't generate that much electricity here to keep them at bay. So I might as well take you up on your offer to join your town. Now that I think about it, I'll be able to sell honey to the residents there. Ka-ching! Say, you collect tama, don't you? I have an extra larvae, ooh, that I was planning on releasing into the wild. You can have it if you want it. Absolutely. Oh, and uh, let's exchange our cards. It's uh, what all the cool kids are doing. Nice. Okie dokie. Well, I'll be uh, going to Colonel Dump now. See you there. So let's look at the gadgets. Yep, there you go. We got the first seven. Wait. Okie dokie then. Right. Well, I think this is probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll be unlocking the Rainlands. I'm going to check that place out. So, I'll catch you guys then. Let's make sure we just save the game. Do not want to lose our progress. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. I'm absolutely loving this game so much, man. Have a great day. Peace.